Welcome back to my channel today. I wanted to share with you guys 10 things I wish I knew about acne before I had acne or when I had acne. Now these things are basically things that I've learned over time since not having acne and having relived my life acne free. Believe it or not, it is a day that will come and I'm so, so sorry if you are in it so deep right now, but just know that you're still as beautiful as you were when you didn't have acne. But let's get into the 10 things I wish I knew about acne when I had acne. So number one, I think the most important thing to cover is acne more than likely is not your fault and you can't be blamed for why you're in this situation, why you have acne. As long as you have a relatively healthy lifestyle, diet and like a relatively sanitary, <laughs> acne really isn't your fault and you shouldn't be blaming yourself every single day. I remember when I had really, really bad acne, all I did every morning was wake up and look at myself in the mirror and thought, why are you doing this to yourself? Like, what have you done? Why is this like, I was just constantly blaming myself thinking, this is your fault. You need to be better. You need to do better that like you need to stop doing X Y and Z But really when it comes to it acne is a growth of bacteria in your skin Which can't be helped and as much as you want to change it more often than not It's really not in your control and you won't be able to stop yourself from having it unless you have like external help But just try to be kind to yourself as much as you possibly can number two is fancy products will not help <laughs> Fancy products are not the answer. So when I had really bad acne, the first thing that I ever did was like, I used to get loads and loads of Instagram ads about, try this product, do this product, if you buy this, as long as you're doing this. And in the end, I ended up buying so many different products and trying so many different products that none of them actually helped because interchanging so much because nothing helped. And I was like, okay, the next product will be better. The next product will be better. And they never actually were. I think the most important thing to remember is that your skin is already super, super sensitive. And by changing and looking into new products every single time, your skin will just not have any idea what's going on. And more than likely, anything with acne written on it, like heal acne, target acne, all that sort of stuff will not help <laughs> because most of the time those products are filled with things that dry out your skin, irritate your skin, like strip your skin barrier, and all of those things just make it worse. It may help in the short term, but long term, because you've stripped your skin of all of the good stuff, it won't help with the rejuvenation of your skin, with the rebuilding of your skin, with the basically the healthiness of your skin. So the first thing that I would do if I could go back and tell myself was just stop buying all the products and just let your skin just like breathe and find products that are soothing, that are calming, that um, are hydrating and make sure that I'm feeding my skin with the right things to make sure that it is provided with all of the nutrients that it needs in order to regenerate. I think the best thing you can do product wise is choose something organic, natural, soothing, and that's the best course of action forwards. Number three is something that I only realized recently was something that had such a big impact. So the reason I believe that I got really, really bad acne is because I came off female contraception. I stopped taking a contraceptive pill, which I've been taking since I was 16, maybe. And coming off of it obviously had huge, huge effects on my hormones, which made my skin absolutely freak out. And from Pretty much like two months after that, my skin just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And for three years, I just suffered with really, really bad hormonal acne, which I ended up having to take Varacutane for because absolutely nothing was helping it. And I think it's just important to bear in mind that the things that we do every day, like the things that we do because that's what the doctors tell us to do, are often can be harmful. So I would just say if you are on any contraception or if you have taken any oral contraception, just be mindful of the fact that you have done that and that it could have those implications. For me, I was like looking for answers for so long as to what I'd done or what had happened for me to get acne and like I said before it obviously wasn't my fault I came off hormonal contraception and my hormones were rebalancing that it just like sort of freaked out and had like huge huge impacts on my skin so I'd say be mindful of the contraception that you do take. Often doctors don't explain enough to us what could happen and just do a little bit more research into it. Once I actually found out that coming off oral contraception, because it is so hormonal, can have those impacts. Even though I had really bad acne, I almost like soothed my mind and made me calmer because I realized it was so out of my control. That there was absolutely nothing that I could do about it. And I just had to try and get through this stage of my life where I had really bad acne. Number four kind of relates back to number two in that when we buy loads of products, a lot of the time products 
are super, super harmful and like strip the skin barrier. One of the things that I was doing constantly while I had acne was scrubbing. I like would buy a scrub, use like a, a scrubbing machine to like strip my skin because often when you use the scrub, it like pulls away everything that's on the surface of your skin and makes your skin feel like, like a bit more glowy, a bit more dewy. But because I was using all these harmful products along with the scrub, it was just like stripping my skin completely. Everything was just making it so much worse. So I'd say if you have really bad acne right now, do not use a scrub because it's just gonna further like sensitize your skin and make your skin even like thinner and more fragile than it already is so just keep making sure that you're hydrating that you're soothing anything hydrating and soothing is exactly what you need to do number five is the belief that one bad meal is gonna make you have really bad acne this is something that I believed so deep to my core one bad meal isn't gonna make you have acne two bad meals isn't gonna make you have really bad acne. Acne is something that is, it's a bacterial growth within your skin that can come from a prolonged period of time of like having a bad diet, having a bad lifestyle, having a bad hygiene, but having a bad meal here and there or having a bad night's sleep or having just a one-off occasion isn't going to cause your acne. You have to accept that in life, you're gonna have moments where you wanna have that food and that those moments should be enjoyed and shouldn't be full of worry and concern about what's gonna happen to your skin. As long as you are taking care of yourself in a general day-to-day -day life, it's not gonna make a difference and you can have fun and you can have a good time. Because <laughs> life's too short to not eat something that you really, really love or to not indulge when you want to. Tip number six is that I personally, when I started my acne, like proper acne care, and when I started taking Miracutane, I stripped all of my skincare back. Now, this was as a recommendation of the dermatologist that I was seeing at the time, but I think that it was the biggest thing that made the biggest impact on the health of my skin. Because I'd tried so many products over the years and like had been almost like convinced that some of them were working. I had like a cupboard full of stuff, just like loads and loads of products everywhere, like acne this, acne that. And because I was mixing so many things and trying so many things, it was actually causing more harm than it was doing good. And stripping all of my skincare products back, starting with just one and using that for a few months, seeing how my skin reacts, adding another, seeing how my skin reacts. Now I have like four products that I use every single day that I trust more than anything, that I know is like doing good to my skin, hydrating my skin, soothing my skin, making my skin feel glowy and dewy. Top tip is just to strip everything back. If you have really bad acne, stop using all the products that you have and start from a base of just a good cleanser. Once you've found a good cleanser that works for you, that is soothing, then find a really good hydrating, soothing cream that is like a day-to-day -day cream that you can use. Then add on the other stuff because I think that we sometimes overcomplicate skincare and we don't need to like be putting like a thousand serums, a thousand creams and all that sort of stuff. Strip it back and then build on that. That would be my tip number six. Number seven is a bit like more personal for me. Like, so whilst I had acne, I was constantly walking around ashamed, embarrassed, like super hyper like aware of like people looking at me. And just recently I was going back through old pictures of what my skin looked like with family and they were like, we never saw your skin like that. I never saw your skin like really, really bad. I never saw how bad it was for you. And I think that's my tip number seven is that no one sees what you see. Like no one is living what you are living. And I am so aware and I'm so sorry that if you're going through a really, really hard time right now, I'm with you. Like I can completely understand. I remember waking up in the morning and looking myself in the mirror and just feeling so utterly deflated and so sad. But just know that no one can see what you see. You are still the most amazing, beautiful person that you are and no one will notice your skin. So just know that no one sees what you see and you are still the most amazing, glowy, beautiful person that you were before you had acne, when you have acne. It doesn't define who you are and that it's okay and that you don't have to worry and be self-conscious and feel judged because no one will see what you see. Tip number eight is basically that it's not your phone, it's not your pillowcase, it's not your door handles, it's not your hands, it's not your t-shirt or your soap or whatever that is causing acne. Of course, all of those things can be irritants, can be full of bacteria, so if you don't wash it, like, yes, if you, like, get, like, touch or dirt on your skin, it will cause a spot, but those things are not the reason that you have 
acne. I remember trying to replace every single thing in my house, washing my phone constantly, like being so hyper aware of everything that like my life was just this ball of stress <laughs> about like what is causing my acne. When really what was causing my acne was so deep inside of me that I couldn't possibly have changed it. That it was hormonal changes within my body that was doing it and not the fact that I was sleeping with a cotton pillowcase as opposed to a silk pillowcase. So just know that whilst those things are good to do, it is good to clean your phone and it is good to have a hygienic environment and it is good to wash your face. Just know that by if you don't do those things every single day, that isn't what's causing acne. Number nine is I was convinced, obviously as a sporty gal, someone who does a lot of fitness, someone who does a lot of weightlifting, I was convinced that the fact I was doing weightlifting and sweating and like training was the reason that I had acne. I was convinced that because I maybe had higher testosterone levels that I was like breaking out in acne and that was the reason. That's just not the case. When I had really bad acne, I had so many tests about my hormone levels, my hormone balances, and nothing ever came back as like crazy high. Like my testosterone was normal, everything was normal. So it wasn't that, but I was convinced that it was that. If you're training, you're sweating, it's great for you, keep doing it. And should you be a little bit more aware when you're in the gym about touching your face and washing your face and just like cleaning your body? Absolutely, because if you're like lying on the floor or doing things on the floor, everybody's shoes from outside. Don't even want to think about all the germs on the bottom of people's shoes that we then lay in or like lie on or put our face in or touch our whatever. If you touch a barbell, who else has touched that barbell when you touch your skin? So just be aware of those things, but just know that you exercising is not what's causing your acne. Now number 10 is by far one of the most important things to remember is that it will not last forever. Acne, whilst you're in it, is so all-encompassing, so consuming, so awful that it is so hard to not think that this is just this is just your life now. Like you're just always gonna have acne. You're just gonna be that girl or that guy who's just constantly got acne. But it's just not the case. And I know that it feels like such a long journey. I know it feels like such a long time, and that there's no easy way of getting through it. It is just a really hard road that feels like it's just met with like barriers and barriers and barriers and like more spots more spots like more acne like it's utterly consuming utterly awful but just know that there is an end in sight like if you'd asked me a year ago whether I would look like how I look now when this is what I look like I would have never believed you like I never believed you so those are the 10 things I wish I knew about acne when I had acne while I have acne after I had acne <laughs> basically some 10 things I wish I knew about my skin important things that you need to know to reaffirm to yourself every single day that often it's not your fault it's life you're gonna get a spot sometimes it's really bad sometimes it's okay but those are just the steps in life that we have to learn to overcome and be strong and brave enough to realize that that's not what defines us what defines us is what's inside and what we do with our lives and how we affect other people how we affect ourselves so i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel i haven't been talking so much about acne recently because to be honest it's a really hard subject for me to talk about i feel still very like in on myself and like worried about it so i find it hard to talk about it but i'm gonna try and talk about it way way more on this channel because i feel like it's really important to expel like truths and make sure that everybody knows and is aware as much as possible about the, like what it does to you and how we can overcome that i'll be uploading again in three days time so make sure you don't miss it and hit that subscribe button bye